thank you so much for joining us on our tiny, tiny home build and adventure. My dream is to spread smiles around the world in real life and also on YouTube. My other dream is also to live near my mom. So this is really the only way that I could figure out how to do both. I'm, I have two horses, Gaston and Laddie. Well, sometimes they're unicorns. And we love to go out and spread smiles. And I took everything out of one horse trailer and put it in the other horse trailer and then started to insulate and line and carpet so it would be comfortable to stay in. Now, there are warnings on the trailer that say this is not a living quarters. The reason why is because you cannot have a propane or a gas generator inside of a closed area because of carbon monoxide poisoning. So do your research. This is just my fun adventure and you're just coming along the journey. So here is the insulation. It was a hot day. There was cold days. There was wet days. There was dry days. There was tight spaces. Um, it was fun. It was interesting. I'm putting pictures in there because this is what I really want to be doing is just playing with my ponies. But I really needed to create this living space. So uh, everything was glued on. The insulation was glued on. The linoleum was cut and glued on. Then I bought trim and cut. Oh, the ceiling was cut and glued and screwed on. The ceiling was definitely screwed on. Then trim put up. It's super simple. Not so super easy. Lots of measuring. Lots of small cuts. Lots of big cuts. Lots of, like I said, hot, cold. It would be cold in the morning, but hot during the day. The sun would be coming in. But with all that said, do it. If you think you want to do it, do it. If you're doing it now, I'm proud of you. If you're doing it now and you're having a hard day, I'm proud of you. Keep going. I'm, I want to inspire others to live their dream. I want, if it's for a day, a month, a week, a year, forever, two days, two months, do it. And the only way that you could figure out how to do it is to do it. You could try it. You could put your trailer in your backyard and you can live in it. You could bring your trailer to your friend's house and you can live in it. But you're still relying on those comforts of home, a bathroom, a washer, a dryer, things like that. So in order to really do it, you just need to do it. And if it fails, sell it all and get a job and, you know, live the, live the typical American dream. But I'm saying... I don't want to live the American dream. I want to truly live. And so far since I started this project, I really feel like I'm finally living. It's fun. It's adventurous. It's scary. It's simple. It's easy. It's difficult. It's interesting. It's learning. It's researching. It's 